Summertime, the best time of the year. Beautiful weather, lots of activities, no school, nothing to worry about other than having fun. I gathered some of the coolest summer hacks I can find for you and your friends to try out. Let's get it. Hack number one, the pool noodle sprinkler. All you guys are gonna need is a pool noodle, some tape, a hose, and something to poke holes into a pool noodle. We're gonna grab the tape, guys. You can use one of two things. We actually haven't tried this, but in the TikTok, they put a corkscrew on this side to stop the water from coming out. We're gonna just try some duct tape. Should be good. Then you're gonna attach the hose to this side right here. Oh, perfect fit. And now the fun part, you poke holes in the pool noodle. Turn on the hose. Bruh. Oh no. Okay, I think the pressure was too high, so we're actually gonna tape the hose. <laughs> one on top. Take two, let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, it's coming out from this side. This is supposed to be patched. Wait, that's actually cool, though. Okay, I have a better idea. We should connect all the pool noodles together and just create the biggest sprinkler. Let's try that. Let's do it. Turn on the hose. Hey, that's pretty cool. I was going to run through it, but I thought it was going to be a little bit hot, <laughs> but still a success. If it's a hot summer day and you want to make chocolate covered strawberries on the go, if you leave the chocolate out in the sun to melt, you can literally dip the strawberries in the chocolate and you got your chocolate fondue. We're going to leave these Feastables bars out here. The sun is beaming. I feel like it's going to melt pretty fast. Let's go do another summer hack and come back to this. So Papa Rug, you're the king of cooking, right? Sure. Did you know about the life hack? Wait, wait, wait. Who says he's the king, bro? Shut the heck up. I always cook for Who you. Who declared you the I always king? cook Yo, for you. Are we good? Uh, yeah, no. Are we good? good? This next summer hack is a hot dog hack where you can actually stuff the hot dog with cheese. So when you cook it, the cheese melts inside the hot dog instead of sprinkling it at the end. You use a paper clip. I'm going to show you how. One hot dog for you and one for me. You're going to take the paper clip and then you're going to drag it just. <laughs> okay. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, so that's mine. Let's see how Papa Rug does it. <laughs> okay, so See, you that's how they call me master of cooking. Okay, hold on dad. I really got to get on your level <laughs> Hold on you're laughing, but what is that? Oh, okay. Exactly. Keep okay. it down Papa uh, Rug. That's my son. So now you just take some cheese sprinkle it inside. I like mine cheesy Oh, this is gonna be crazy. You don't have to close it. It's a new hat. Close you your hot dog. Close the hot dog You're gonna place them on the grill and now we wait for that to melt. Close it. It's gonna be melted all over. Ooh, Come yeah, on, yeah, bro. Look go. at this. Hey, okay, this is mine. I think mine looks way better. I don't know why Papa Rug wanted that. Look at the side of mine. Ooh. Now, Dad, you wanna see another life hack within this hack? What else is there? So this is a more convenient way of organizing all your condiments. You grab a muffin pan, it has 12 slots, and you can put everything in there. It's a lot easier when you have your family over for barbecues in the summertime. Deck your hot dog out. So I know you like jalapenos, right, Dad? Got you with there that. Go. I'm gonna do some ketchup. That is delicious. Okay, Dad, you want ketchup? I'll serve myself. Oh, okay, my bad. Cheers, our glizzies. Let's go. All right. You just learned a cooking hack from your own son. How does it feel? I feel proud of you. So I'm not gonna cook anymore. No, no, you're uh, still gonna cook. Okay. Please. All right. And 15 minutes later, the chocolate is fully melted. I'm gonna go with the D's nuts flavor. So we're gonna open it up. Oh my gosh. You have your fondue dip right here. This is about to hit. Oh, look at that. Come on. You got the drip. That was phenomenal. No, which flavor you want? You want these nuts, milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate? Milk chocolate? Yep. All right, I got you. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> it's actually fire. <laughs> That's perfect. It's crazy. I give this one a 10 out of 10. All right, mom, I'm sure you've seen this hack because your For You page is all cooking yes. hacks, but this is the easiest way to make a meat skewer. Okay, let's do it. Have you seen this on TikTok? I have. I'll Real quick, it. mom, who's a better cook, you or Papa Rug? Because he was saying he was the best cook in the family. He said that? He I did. was going to be so like nice and say him. 100% me. <laughs> Show the curry that I just made. Oh, true. Show it. Curry with chicken and meat and rice. Hey, Noah, you just had some. How was it? Amazing. So you cut half of a two liter, flip it upside down, and put your meat in there. We're not using gloves because we're gonna eat it. Now, you're gonna put any bottle of your choice upside down like that, and you're gonna put that. So now you put the skewer in like this. Dude, I'm so excited. Okay, like that. Okay, okay mom, push it down. Or do you want me to do oh, it? It's hot. I got it, I got do it, I got it. it. Do it. Okay. Why did you get taller? It's supposed okay. to be a lot easier, guys. Okay, you know what? I'll stick with my technique. Wait, wait, no! Okay, you go your way out to my... But yeah, it didn't work as good as I wanted it to, but I know it does work, so we gotta redo it. Take two. Oh. Hey, it's wait. coming out myself! 
No! No! What would you rate this? I was going to say 8 out of 10. I think it's like a solid 7. seven. If it worked, obviously it would have been like a 9 or a 10, but I think that's still super cool. This is the perfect summer hack to make DIY ice pops with the drink of your choice. And in this case, we're of course going with the best energy drink, Chug Rug, and the best flavor of Prime, Grape. Let's do it. First things first is you're going to want to heat up a knife. So I recommend doing this with an adult. Should I touch it? Definitely not, Noah. You're going to want to see this turn brown. That's how you'll know it's ready. The smell is not pleasant. Now now that you got the knife this hot, you're gonna take a Ziploc bag and be careful when you do this. Cut the Ziploc bag straight down the middle like that. Pull it apart. So now you got this Ziploc bag, which is where you're gonna make your ice pop. If the bag doesn't look like it's sealed up, you could use the hot knife still and kind of just lay it on there and it should seal up from the heat. That should be good. Next, you take the drink of your choice. Finish pouring up the prime. Perfect. You're gonna put a skewer in there, center it. You're gonna wanna place it in the freezer and just let it sit until it's fully frozen. I had one prepared earlier just so we didn't have to wait hours, but this is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, you got your very own ice pop. So this is about four hours of it freezing, so let's try it. Super good. I feel like if you leave it overnight, it would be 10 times better because it would be fully frozen, but this is definitely a sick summer hack. I personally did not know this existed, but if you have a chair and an umbrella and you don't have a stand for it or you don't want to hitch it into the ground, these types of chairs have these holes on both sides. And I guess they're used for an umbrella stand. So you just take the umbrella, put it on the right side or left side. Now you got your personal shade and you didn't have to shove it into the ground. It's just in the chair. Well, if you want to make your drink float while you're swimming, you have a scrunchy scrunchy <laughs> a scrunchy okay you could put it around your drink and it'll float all right do you think this is gonna work though yeah of course let's it will. find out i'm not even gonna go slow ready hey that's a success simple as that oh hold on bro i just gotta go real quick Oh no! Okay, be more careful with it, but it works. It's a summer night. You're craving popcorn, but you don't want boring popcorn. Would never want that if I didn't want it. You want caramel popcorn. Okay, I do. So we can make it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna get caramel candy. Let's butter the pan first. Butter it up. Oh, oh shoot, my bad, my bad. Just so the candy does not stick to the bottom. Yep. There we go. There you go. Ooh, it's already heating up. See yes. the smoke? All right, now what's next, fam? Caramel candy. Yes, sir. Throw it in. So once it is melted is when you add the popcorn kernels. Getting stuck on the pan, but it's okay. How's it getting stuck? We put butter. It Ooh. smells so good. Do you wow. smell that? Imagine just melting this for the smell. I know some people do that. No, a question. What's your favorite summertime snack? Any fruit with that heat. Okay. How about yourself? Ooh. I mean, bro, I'm pretty basic. Ice cream. I mean, I just love ice cream. Classic. You think we're ready? I think we're ready to go. <laughs> Comment down below your favorite summertime snack. I actually want to try some of them. But now it's time for the kernels. Oh, that smells amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what is already, already starting to go? Okay, and now you wait for it to pop. Ooh. There we go. They're getting excited in there, bro. It doesn't look burnt, but it smells burnt. Oh my gosh, that looks exactly like I called it. It was burnt. I mean, there's some bits and pieces you can pick at there. So I cooked the caramel candy on high heat, which is why I think it burns. So if you have the patience, cook it on low heat. We're literally getting attacked by the popcorn right now, bro. It keeps popping out. <laughs> ah! Cheers. That's good. That's good. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we did cook it properly, like the caramel candy, and not had it burn, it would have been perfect. I would rate this one like six or seven out of ten. If it was like perfected, no burns and stuff, that's a ten out of ten for me. I think this is one of the cooler summer hacks. When you're done swimming and your shorts are all wet, there's a super fast way to dry your shorts in under a minute. My boy Chemo actually taught me this, but I did see it all over TikTok as well. You wrap your towel around your waist, and then you're gonna want to make sure it's tight. It absorbs all the water. Water. You're gonna want to pop a squat and you can feel the water absorbing into the towel just like this in just less than a minute Your shorts should be super super dry 99% dry. Okay, here we go. See uh -oh. how dry the shorts got Honestly, this is like 85% dry. If I waited like 20 more seconds, they would have been fully dry. But I think this is a 10 out of 10 hack. You should try it. Hey Noah, did you know you can make fruit juice out of any fruit in the fruit with an immersion blender? I do because in one video of yours, you did it with the watermelon. Exactly, guys. I don't know if you remember, we made watermelon juice in the watermelon, but this time we wanted to test it out with a pineapple and a cantaloupe. This one seems kind of odd, but I'm down to try it. So we're gonna start here cutting SpongeBob's house. I'm sorry, buddy. We love you. I hope this works, bro. I know it worked perfect with the watermelon because pretty much water. Pineapple juice is gonna be sick Ooh. though. And then Noah, would you like me to cut yours or? No, I got it. I know what I'm doing here. 
Beautiful. Yo, yours is low-key better than mine. Oh my god. It's definitely working. It's fizzing up. I realize there's a core in there, right? I just now realized so, it. So, you know, you gotta make a little circle first. Okay. Got it. That's why it wasn't turning into juice. Exactly. Now try it. Oh yeah. Looks more like a slushy. Still good. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me try this. Okay, come on, dude. Ooh. It's like um, very chunky. It's like a slushy. I would say that it was 10 times better with a watermelon. Let's see some cantaloupe juice. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, relax, relax. That looks terrible. Who drinks cantaloupe juice, bro? I don't know. I wanna know. You're gonna drink it straight out of there? Yep. It's thick. <laughs> Let's see if it's just as thick as pineapple. I think it's meant to be only used with the watermelon because watermelon is like 90% water. Yeah. Just try it with watermelon. After a long day at the beach, I know how annoying it gets before you get into your car and you still have sand on your body. That is literally the worst feeling. There's a hack to get all the sand off of your arms, your legs, wherever it is. All you're gonna need is baby powder and you can get creative with it and have a sock with it. First things first, let's get some sand on me. Oh, this is the worst. I actually wonder if this is gonna work. So now you're gonna wanna put, hold on, I gotta get some LeBron in there real quick. Now we're good to go. So you're gonna fill up the sock with baby powder. A little crop duster. Yeah, come on. Let's test it out. Here's the before, you see the sand. Now you're gonna pat it on like that. Rub it a little bit. I honestly don't see why you need a sock. Probably could just put the baby powder on itself, but I think it just looked cooler. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Hold up, no more sand at all. And it leaves your arm feeling super, super soft. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10, bro, that's fire. We are about to make the greatest summertime snack. A peanut butter chocolate banana. Cut the banana in half just like that. I mean, you could choose to peel it before or after. I'm just doing it after, I don't know why. Probably because I forgot to peel it. Then you're gonna stick the stick in the banana. One, two, three, four. And now you place them in the freezer till they're fully frozen. And here they are. We had them prepared earlier because I could not wait. So now you got your frozen bananas. And this is where the fun part comes in. So you're gonna take super chunk peanut butter. That's what I prefer for this one. Along with your meltable chocolate. Throw it in the microwave for about a minute. Got the peanut butter out the microwave. It's ready for the dip. Oh yeah. Fully submerge the banana. That looks delicious. You're gonna do that with the rest, however many you wanna make. All right, you got your melted chocolate here, and now you're gonna just drizzle it on just like that. Wow. I feel like I could get a job at Disneyland for sure. Oh yeah. So I think you'd wanna freeze them again or put them back in the fridge so they're perfect, but I'm just gonna go for it now. This looks insane. That's nuts, literally. Bro, that is delicious, what the heck? And it looks cool too. Bro, that is so good. What do you rate that? That's a broke my scale. Ooh, BMS. And it hardened already, you see that? And James Harden, for sure. <laughs> Dennis, you wanna learn a life-changing s'mores hack? 100% that has to do with food, I'm in it. So all you're gonna need is a rake. I always have one of those. This life hack is a way to make s'more s'mores. You get it? S'mores s'mores? What was that, like out of 10? Like a three? Appreciate you. I don't know if this is gonna be dumb or cool, but we're gonna try it. So we have a metal rake here so it doesn't melt. You're gonna use the end of the rake as the skewer for the marshmallow. What are your thoughts so far on this live hack? Honestly, I think this is gonna be a success. If you're having like a party and a bunch of people, you just throw one of these on there. Make sure you clean the rake too. I don't know if I did that did before. Did you clean it? Because no. I wasn't here for that part. All right. <laughs> wait, this looks so <laughs> dumb. It kind of looks weird? cool though. Okay, wait, it's not over yet. So now you put these here. Are you serious? Bro, I didn't know that. I thought you just put the marshmallow on there. This is awesome. I feel like it's like a barbecue grill now. Okay, what's next? You put the chocolate over here. Exactly really? what we're doing. I feel like this is cool to try. Noah, back up. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes filming with Noah only because he gets like their worst angles. Like, no, no, look. <laughs> favorite one is when you make my nose look bigger than it already is. Can you try it? <laughs> <laughs> we're ready to go. That's crazy. This just looks like one of those TikToks where people are like, why didn't you just make s'mores normal? This is actually cool. I smell the chocolate. Uh-huh. We got a marshmallow on fire. We got one marshmallow on fire. These ones aren't, ah, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. I just spit on them. Hey, okay, you get those. Th <laughs> They're about to fall off. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now what? Um, I'll grab, I like this one right here. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> that is freaking awful, bro. That was the worst thing I could have possibly done. Mm. Here, let me show you how to do it. I don't know how cooked this one is. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my, look how perfect that is. I, shit. I gotta try it again, bro. You gotta pull fast. Yeah. This is gonna be a big bite. 
Alright guys, that is the end of the summer hacks video. Let me know which hack was your favorite and if you're gonna try any with your friends. And I hope you guys have the greatest summer of all time. All summer 2023. Peace out guys. Peace. <laughs>